Manchester United fans. I think you guys now know what it feels like to be the laughing stock of the Premier League. You're not only the laughing stock of the Premier League, but you've got one of the greatest footballers of all time in your team and making him look useless and making him look lost. Man, if I was Ronaldo, I would be tearing up my contract, man. I'm not even going to be wasting time anymore with you guys. I'd rather go to the MLS than play for Manchester United. I'm sorry, but it is awful. Haba! Arsenal fans. Listen, people, I know I'm an Arsenal fan. And every Arsenal fan has every reason to be excited right now. But one thing I've learned about Arsenal is don't get too excited. I'm just being a realistic Arsenal fan right now. I know sometimes I go on social media and I troll people, but listen, it's all banter with my mates. But we have to be very realistic. Slow and steady is the best way forward. If these guys there make me extra happy and then go and lose one game, we know it's very hard for Arsenal to recover. So, as an Arsenal fan, I'm going to appeal to everyone out there. Please and please and please take it easy with your excitement. I don't want your heart to trip. It's just an advice. Oh. Liverpool fans, what the hell is going on with you guys? Ordinary Crystal Palace that Arsenal beat at home. Or in their home, rather. You guys are struggling to even get a draw. You can say it's because of the red card. Obviously, Nunes was very stupid to do what he had done. But listen, you are Liverpool. You know, you guys got rid of money. I think it's a case of you never know what you have until you lose it. Because it's obvious that the players are still trying to gel up front. You guys are still playing the high press, flowing football, etc. But you can't score. You can't score. What's going on with you people, man? What the hell is going on? Chelsea and Tottenham fans. It seems like on that match day, we were out for wrestling. Yes, Conte and Tucho. I don't understand the kind of beef that is going on between those two coaches. One of them wanted to shake the other, the other said you have to look me in the eyes. Are we lovers? Are we in love? Why do I have to look you in the eyes if I want to shake you? It's my goddamn business what I want to do and how I want to shake you and if I want to shake you. It is no mandatory. Anyway, I digress. That game was filled with a lot of bad decisions from the ref. As far as I'm concerned, Chelsea were robbed. Because I don't understand the role of VAR in football anymore if those guys are just going to be sitting down in Stockley Park and having a burger while the game is going on. Because I don't know how you have a VAR and you cannot see all the infringements that were happening in the game. Maybe we need to start probing the VAR. I don't know anymore. I'm confused, man. 